You're a new owner of a holy mackerel and want to give it a good life. Or you're looking to get one and want to know what it takes. So I put together this in-depth comprehensive guide to everything you need to know about caring for your very own holy mackerel. Now, the first thing you're probably going to want to know, what do you feed your new fish friend? I recommend a healthy diet of the blood of your enemies about once a week. Now, you might find this hard, but you'll get used to it. It can actually become quite the bonding experience for you and your holy mackerel. Now, you may ask, what if I don't have any enemies? Don't worry, it's never too late to start making some. Holy mackerel are quite the energetic fish. If you don't take them on walks often, they become quite aggressive. It's best to take them to highly populated places. Who for harvest, you know, those types of places. It's even better if you come across another holy mackerel owner. Holy mackerel are very social and like to see other holy mackerel. Unless they decide they actually want to challenge the other one to a fight to the death. Might be best to keep an eye on it. Also another thing holy mackerel love is water. They just love to be in it. If you could take a holy mackerel to water, it will be very delighted. Might become a little more bloodthirsty, but you could cross that bridge when you get to it. Preferably under it. Holy mackerel, as stated before, are very aggressive. Which surprises many, but uh, it's simply because of the fact that they have no limbs or teeth or any threatening features that would, you know... Become across as aggressive. But you don't need to be deadly to be aggressive. So be careful if you see another holy mackerel. Best to keep your distance. Holy mackerel are also rather vocal things. They can be very loud and disturb those around you. Now some teach their holy mackerel not to be so loud, but a quiet holy mackerel is a sad holy mackerel. Silencing a holy mackerel can be very mean as they use their loudness to intimidate and holy mackerel love to intimidate. Now for some commonly asked questions. I see people hitting things with their holy mackerel. Doesn't that hurt it? Now what you're seeing when you see that is not damaging the mackerel. It's a very positive thing to do, actually. They explore their surroundings this way. When you see a new object, it actually wants to be hit against it. If you see multiple mackerel being hit into the same object, it's clearly a very interesting item to those holy mackerel. In fact, holy mackerel will often find items currently being investigated by other mackerel as more interesting. Now this is one happy holy mackerel. Listen to its sounds of excitement. Isn't it cruel to use them as a weapon? Short answer, no. They actually love it! A holy mackerel that doesn't like to be a weapon clearly isn't a holy mackerel. You clearly got yourself some other fish mixed up with one. How much are the ongoing expenses of owning one? I'm about one prison sentence a week if you can't get away with murder. I'm currently in prison. Will my holy mackerel be okay? Yes, a holy mackerel could go a long time without being fed. It's best to keep them well fed for their temperament, however, so your holy mackerel will be fine. Just expect it to be a little mad at you. Hopefully I answered a lot of questions that you may have had about these wonderful creatures. I hope all your holy mackerel live their best lives and you enjoy the company of these marvellous fish. It may be quite the hassle, but a happy holy mackerel is the best thing you could ask for.